Welcome back to the Matthew Spencer Show. I'm excited that you are here, a captive audience, to, to watch this show with me. It's a lot of fun, and I'm very excited because this episode we're premiering a new theme song, and it's really cool. Uh, what is the Matthew Spencer Show, you may be asking, if you've never seen it before? I'm calling it a variety show for the modern audience. That means there's going to be cartoons, short films, character sketches, and of course, my original music. What more? It's fun for the whole family. So get the whole family together, sit down, and watch it. All right, let's get to the show. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a guy in a small town. He was just like anyone else when one night he woke with a dream a dream to do a night show things started happening things started happening around here it's the matthew spencer show the matthew spencer show it's the matthew spencer show A world comes alive with heroes and villains. We try to survive. You're certain to feel the magic is real at the Matthew Spencer Show. The music is hot, and we do a lot. Once upon a time, in Australia, there were a few little animals. Perhaps the most jovial of all the creatures in the bush, the pride of the bush was Coogie the Kookaburra. He was a little hard to take at times, but one thing he had going for him was his jouet de vie, pardon my French. That really simply means joy of living. And his friend, Platy the Platypus, was a little bit less energetic, but he was steady as she goes, boys. Oi, Cookie, how you going? Da! Da! Cheers! Coo -coo -coo -coo. Wonderful! Hoo -hoo. One of Cookie's favorite friends to visit was Clemmy the Koala in the Eucalyptus Tree Forest. Now, Clemmy was a bit chubby because he ate all the time, and all he ever said was, Kudoi! 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 So when Cookie came, their conversations were not very interesting. Hey, Clemmy, how you doing? How you going? Kudoi, Cookie! Kudoi! Ha ha ha! Well, goodbye! And now Cookie the Kookaburra, as you know, was quite an inclusive fellow. He never wanted anyone to be left out of his joviality. He would go and talk to the sheep. Bleh, 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 bleh. And of course, the conversation was rather one-sided. They would ba at him and he would coo 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 at them. Coo 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 Bleh, bleh. Coo 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 Blah, blah. You can see what I mean. It's not very interesting. And now for the kangaroos. Rolf and his brother Richard. Now these fellows fancied that they were somehow part of the upper crust and they would talk a bit like this. 
I sailed, Ralph, old boy. I fancy a spot of tea about now. Let's go get one. What a grand idea, Richard, old boy. The last kangaroo back is a rotten egg. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, Cookie, he did not talk to them often, but he liked to race them home and maybe have a spot of tea with him. Boom, now for Timmy the Tasmanian Tiger. When Cookie and Timmy spoke together, they of course were both extremely high strong and quite hyper. Uh, so it was a bit hard to take. Are you ready for this? Are you sure? Hey, 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 Cookie. Hey, I want to eat you. I'm really hungry. Can I eat you? I'd be so good. You look really tasty. You're crazy. Oh, okay. Or maybe, maybe I'll go. Maybe, maybe I'll go eat a sheep instead. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. You can see what I mean. Quite exhausting. So at the end of the day, while their conversations might not have been all that interesting, they had a good life in the bush. And now, in the news. Stan knows. Stan knows. Hi, I'm Stan knows. You know, I know. Throughout my journalistic career, I have had the opportunity to travel the world, experiencing and reporting on the diversity and goings-ons of the big blue marble we call Earth. This world is full of strange things, wondrous lands, mysterious creatures, from the rolling sands of the Sahara to the lush tropical rainforests of Papua New Guinea. Our home planet is full of surprises. Perhaps the most captivatingly beautiful places on Earth is the world's fifth largest country, Brazil. While on my goodwill tour of the Amazon, I fell in love with Brazil. It is a country teeming with rhythm, a melting pot of cultures, a cacophony of jungle melodies, a cornucopia of flavors, and perhaps my favorite, dance. Yes, it's true. While in Brazil, I caught a local infection known as Samba Nova Itis. I appreciate your well wishes and concerns, but the doctors tell me it is incurable. So, here's to hoping the rest of the world catches it as badly as I have. I'm Stan Nose, and you know, I know. Stan Nose, Stan Nose! This has been Real Talk with Stan Nose. During these challenging and troubling times, America knows Stan Nose. I'm Stan Nose, and you know, I know. Stan Nose, Stan Nose! Hi, it's me, Katie Livingston, and I'm here with Stan Knows, and he knows, you know, and I'm here to ask him some questions. That's my catchphrase. You don't say my catchphrase in the future. Okay. So, Mr. Stan Knows, what is the most important thing you learned in Brazil? One of the most important things I learned in Brazil was this, simply. It's not that bad. <laughs> nice. Could, so it wasn't that bad? It, it wasn't. It was fantastic. I mean, yes, I mean, I fell ill close to the end, but that wasn't that bad either. It was <laughs> quite lovely, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> so you spent so much time with the president of Colorado. What is he really like? He's just an all-around good guy, you know? Yeah. He's, he's got that loving soul. He's always out for the votes, and you know, he's always got my vote. How do you know that you know? It's simple. My name is Stan Nose, and I wear glasses. That's how you know 
I know. So you have so many people that don't like you and just want to criticize everything you do. What do you have to say to all of them? I have to say to my two critics, Ben and Jerry, I know that you know that I am the best journalist there is, and that is the only reason you're attacking me. And I want my children to know that I am the best before they turn to zombies. I'm sorry. Give me no, just a moment. You're fine. You're fine. Where is this interview going? Every is it day. fun? I ride them to work every day. It's amazing. Nice. I mean, fuel economy is such an annoying thing to get into, so we better not, but camels are just... They're just a joy to ride. Nice. Until next time, I'm Katie Livingston reporting live from Longmont, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, we now find ourselves outside a little establishment known only as Villains R Us, a place where superheroes and late night show hosts go to find a prospective villain. Tonight, we will be joining Professor Von Huben in his weekly Monday night lecture on Villains 101. It is bound to be an enlightening experience for one and all. You can hear me, yes, okay? This is not a very big room, this is not too big. Okay, everyone ready to learn? Every red, everyone ready to be quiet while I talk? Yes, ho ho, hello! Ich bin es, der, der Professor von Uven, der gemütlich Herr Professor von Uven, ja. Willkommen wieder zu meine, meine, welcome again everyone to my class. When I lecture here in my Vorlesung, I speak about lots of things. But mostly on what is your favorite subject, yeah? I don't lose my temper so much if you don't talk and text your friends and everything. I don't lose my temper and, and we talk about lots of things here. We talk about why the sky is blue and vielleicht why I'm wearing a fake mustache and vielleicht we can talk about something else and you what is that? What is that? You, could, you can speak German. <laughs> Too bad for you. My favorite subject is villains. What does it mean to be a villain? A villain, yes. What does it mean to be a villain? I don't know. <laughs> Today we are going to take you into a very special room where you can choose your own villain, yes. A real life villain? And you can take him home today. Yeah, and if you don't like him, you can bring him back. Bring him back and we get all of your money back. Uh, no questions asked. This is a stupid American policy, but you can have all of your money back and I get a half-used villain. This is a terrible, terrible plan. And you have to choose. Do you want a tall villain or a short villain? A fat villain or a skinny villain? Vielleicht, maybe. You want a zombie, yes, yes, a oh, zombie, I like zombies. Uh, or maybe something a little bit more petite, yeah, I don't know. For your late night show, or if you like, you're a superhero, or you think you're a superhero, and you need a villain to fight against, yes? You, you always need some kind of villain, because if you're a superhero, you need a super villain. But whatever you need a villain for, you can find it here at Villains R Us and uh, here in my lecture series, okay? Thank you for coming. Thank you for shutting up, okay? Thank you. These Americanas, they just break so viel out uh, während my, my Vorlesung. This is, this is really not nice. It's not cool. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to Professor Von Uben's Monday Night Lecture Series on Villains. Full refunds can be made at the customer service desk. Until next week, goodbye. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Tritone, and I am here to enslave your city with my insidious music and dissonant harmonies. 
Singing was never my favorite thing to do. <laughs> but you want to know my story first, don't you? Well, you don't deserve to know it, but I will tell you anyway. I was banished by the masters of music, they call themselves. Banished into the realm of Jan Jodelheim. It's a very uncomfortable place. Very unpleasant place. But I have found a way out. Alas, they never knew that I was through with being banished. So here I am to enslave your city. Whoa. <laughs> beware, beware, here I am to stay. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Matthew Spencer Show. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope makes you want to come back for the next episode. Until next time, I'm Matthew Spencer. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. See you.